Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing all my favorites from the month of March. light month for me for YouTube videos mostly because I moved if you haven't watched my life update video I will leave a card up here you can just click that button and also I was traveling in the Bahamas for a week with Vineyard Vines and a couple of my friends so unfortunately that meant I didn't have as much time to film YouTube videos but don't worry this month I'm back with two a week per usual and I'm super excited to share some of my favorites from the month of March and I know I just did the February video but I promise this one's good too so the first favorite for the month of March is something that I received as a gift from Old Navy. I went to one of their events to celebrate their floral dresses, but as much as I love the floral dress, I actually was obsessed with the denim jacket that I picked out to go over the floral dress. It's so cute, and I think I resisted wearing denim jackets for so long because I kind of grew up wearing them. I was definitely like a hashtag Gap Kid growing up, and I had a denim jacket from Gap Kids, and it just felt super 90s, but this one from Old Navy is super cropped and tight, and it looks amazing on, and it's been something that I haven't been able to wear that much in March since it's so cold, but I can't wait to wear it later this spring as it warms up and into the summer. I can't wait to wear it with white jeans and striped shirts and also also just over some of my favorite dresses, especially if it gets a little cold at night. The wash on the Old Navy denim jacket is also perfect. It's not too dark or too light, and it has a little bit of stretch, so you get that great tailored look, but you can still move in it, which is super important to me. Another favorite of mine is actually a pair of Everlane slides that I received as a gift a couple of years ago. Even though it's freezing here in New Jersey still, I was in the Bahamas, as I said, with my friends, and I wore these Everlane slides almost every single day. I'm normally a total Jack Rogers girl, but I love the color of these slides and how comfortable they are. The first few times that you wear them, they are kind of stiff and kind of hurt. My mom actually ordered them and returned them because she thought they were so uncomfortable. But the more you wear them, the more comfortable you get. So don't give up on them after the first week or so. I swear they get amazing. Just like the denim jacket, these slides are something that I look forward to wearing this spring and summer on really warm days. They're just a great staple shoe to have in your closet. They go with everything. I don't remember when I got this next favorite. It might have been a few months ago, but I've just started wearing it more frequently, and that is actually the lipstick I'm wearing right now. It's this really amazing NARS kind of lip gloss lipstick combination. It's not necessarily a matte lipstick, but it goes on super smooth and light and stays on for such a long time. Definitely longer than a normal lipstick in my experience. So I can put my chapstick on throughout the day without worrying about the color rubbing off or take a sip of water without worrying about like my lipstick color just going everywhere. It stays put and looks amazing throughout the day. And I also just really like this light pink color because it's super springy and kind of makes me feel like warm weather's around the corner. Okay, the next thing on my list is something that I wasn't expecting to buy. I drove down to Target to get a few things for the apartment. As you know, when you move into a new apartment, you basically have to make like 10 trips to Target and Bed Bath & Beyond and the container store just to get stuff to get organized. But while I was there looking for a mirror to hang over my door, I found these amazing sconces. I knew when I saw them that I had to get them, even though I wasn't exactly sure how or where I was going to use them. Originally, I thought that I might use them in my new office space, but when I got back to my apartment, I thought they were actually perfect for the bedroom. So I moved out the table lamps that I've had since I lived in New York City and went about installing them. Now, I am not an expert handy woman. In fact, I wouldn't consider myself all that handy at all, but I do not like taking no for an answer and I hate asking for help. Plus I was really impatient and wanted these to go up right away. So I was like, I'm just gonna install these myself. Even though the sign on the back said you should definitely work with an electrician, you don't. If you do end up buying these sconces, the instructions that come with them are kind of confusing and I don't think actually explain it in the best way possible. What I found the most helpful was to go on the website and find all the Q and A and reviews because people left some really helpful hints. Even though it says you need an electrician, you only need that if you are going to actually uh, like hide the wires behind the wall. I just let the wire hang out because it has this pretty cord, so it worked for me just to be able to hang it. It only took about an hour and a half to install both, and I only had to FaceTime my mom like four times to ask for advice on which drills to use and stuff. But if I can do it, you can do it. 
On the update video that I did a couple of weeks ago, I shared a few of my recent reads, but I wanted to share one more with you that I squeaked in in the last week of March, and that is the book Faithful by Alice Hoffman. I've read one other book of Alice Hoffman's, The Practical Magic Book, and I didn't love it. I actually preferred the movie over the book, so I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I should read Faithful, but the reviews on Goodreads looked amazing, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna give this a chance. It was such a good book and I couldn't put it down. It was something that I read in just a few days. It's not too long and you can kind of just sit down and read it. The character development I think is amazing and I fell in love with a few characters and there's like great dog characters that I just loved throughout the book. If you are looking for a quick and uplifting book about a girl who kind of steers in the wrong direction for a little bit but finds herself back on the you know the straight and arrow i definitely recommend picking up this one and i actually can't wait to read more of alice hoffman's books now as i've mentioned a few times i moved and so i wanted to make sure that i included my new city on my list of favorites for the month of march and i am in hoboken if you haven't watched that update video and I wasn't exactly looking forward, frankly, to moving back to more of a city environment. I loved being able to drive my car in Connecticut and being close to the beaches. But this past month, I've had so much fun exploring Hoboken and I love how close we are to the city. But I think my favorite part is actually being able to walk to my favorite coffee shops every morning. There are like seven great coffee shops within a four block radius of where we live. And it's just been fun to live with my boyfriend and have the dogs here and our apartment. While we've had a number of issues that only about half have been addressed, don't get me started, it has been amazing to have my own office space, but also a backyard for the dogs to play in. That has probably been the best adjustment to my everyday daily life. Like just being able to let them out every morning in the backyard without getting fully dressed is amazing. Next up is a little bit of a health item, and that is a daily vitamin that I've been taking. I have shared the vitamins before when I was talking about taking vitamin D supplements, but this is an everyday women's multivitamin that actually has everything that you need without having to take multiple vitamins. Like, frankly, I have to be kind of honest with you here, I didn't realize that at first, so I was taking like all different vitamins. And then a reader was so nice and like left a comment on my blog saying like, oh, you don't have to take vitamin D because the multivitamin has the 100% the vitamin D that you need for the day. Felt like kind of an idiot for not knowing that, but actually made me like the product so much more knowing that it had everything that I wanted in a vitamin in literally just the one gummy. You actually take two a day, but it's all there in that one serving. And it has stuff for your hair, stuff for your nails, skin, all the essential vitamins that you're going to want to take on a daily basis. And especially for me, that vitamin D, which I just need to take every day to remain normal and not crazy. So if you are looking for a multivitamin, I really recommend this one, especially since they're so easy to take. You don't have to drink them with water. You don't have to eat food. They kind of taste too good in my opinion. You don't want to just stop at the two you're supposed to take every day, but don't overdose on those. I actually talked about my next favorite in the fitness video that I did last week, but I wanted to talk about it again because it really has been one of my favorites for the month, and that is the app, Aptive. As I mentioned on the fitness video, the app is a great way to work out if you don't want to invest in a trainer or you don't have the time to commit to going at a certain time every week. You can work out on your own while still having the benefits of a coach or a trainer nearby. And it's for a much, much, much lower cost than belonging to a gym or hiring a personal trainer, which can get super expensive. So for like a low monthly price, you are a member of this app. And with that, you get access to hundreds of training sessions from amazing trainers. And what I've loved about this is that it's not just weightlifting or yoga. You have everything from stretching to meditation. You can even listen to different workouts to help you train for 5Ks or 10Ks or half marathons. I'm just obsessed with the versatility and the depth that the app provides. When you're listening to the trainers, you really do feel like you're in person with one of them and they really coach you along and give you the motivation that you need. I love this one guy and he will literally say right when you feel like you're gonna die he'll you know give you that extra motivation to keep going and I just appreciate that and even though he's not standing right next to me I feel like he is if you remember I gave myself the challenge to not buy as many clothes as I have in the past and I've been really pretty good about sticking to that I bought one sweater February 1st and then I just bought a new pair of shoes that I wanted to share with you guys because I'm obsessed with them 
I actually have a little bit of tendonitis in the ball of my foot. So right now I cannot wear any high heels, which is kind of sad because I have so many great pairs of shoes that I love to wear. But I've been kind of having to stick to just flats and sneakers because my foot is in so much pain and I actually just can't wear the heels. I mean, it's so excruciating. So I've been trying to invest and look for great lower heeled shoes to wear, especially in the spring and summer. And I found these amazing scallop shoes. They look like the Loeffler Randall sandals that are like $400, but these are under a hundred. They're super, super comfortable. And I love the navy color and obviously the scallops as well. Okay, last on my list is something that I am so excited to share with you guys if you aren't already a member, but I created a Facebook group for my blog, but obviously that extends to my YouTube channel as well. I've been blown away by the response to the Facebook group and it's made me love you guys even more and I didn't think that was even possible, but everyone is so supportive and helpful whether you're looking for a recommendation for a upcoming trip or you have a relationship question that you don't feel comfortable asking your close friends and you just want kind of an anonymous group to help you out. People are sharing absolutely everything and the comment sections I have found on these different posts have just been amazing discussions with great girls and women and it's fun because the ages kind of range from high schoolers to college age girls to girls out of college and even a bunch of moms in the group. So you really get a bunch of great advice from a diverse group of women. I will definitely make sure I leave a link to that Facebook group in the description box below if you wanna join and be a little patient because I only check it a couple times a day to accept people, but I will get to it and I hope you guys have as much fun with it as I am. So that is it for my favorites for the month of March. I will be back next month with more favorites. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed.